Well, hello, ladies, gentlemen, and everyone watching. I'm your host, the Report of the Week, and thank you for tuning in. You can see I'm coming at you at a little bit of a different setting today. Lounging in the uh, in the bed, wearing traditional uh, sleeping attire, as we all do. But I hope everyone's doing all right and feeling all right. I wanted to uh, make a little bit more of a casual video today, addressing a subject which is brought up from time to time. I, I don't think people may, maybe they don't overtly request this. They're not, you know, saying, could you please talk about your eating quirks review, brah? Um, but some people maybe wonder it, you know, they're like, well, um, obviously you review the food, um, but do you have any strange, you know, tastes or uh, preferences uh, that, you know, maybe most people don't have? So... This is what we've got. I, I say this outright. Brace yourselves. You may be shocked. You may be terrified at some of the things you're going to hear this time around. Uh, so just be ready. That's all that I'm going to say. You know, if, if you are in bed as well, um, grab the sheets or the covers or whatever you call them. And, you know, pull them up high. You know, it'll, it'll, probably, it'll probably help. That's all I can advise. Um, but I do want to say... I have these preferences that we're gonna we're gonna go over. I do the reviews, and when I do the reviews, I try to not let these preferences get in the way of things. I try to just look at it um, impartially and unbiased. And granted, especially at the beginning, that was a bit. It was tough. It was tough to do that. But now I try to just look at these items, whatever it is that I'm trying out, uh, from the perspective of, you know, how is this going uh, to be, you know, appreciated by. Uh, the, the mass consumers, not just do I um, like this sauce or not personally, but how does it work as the product overall? That's what it comes down to. So first and foremost, one, one bias that I have when it comes down to eating that I think a lot of folks already know is mayo. I am not a fan of mayo. That, that, is, that is how I honestly feel about it. And I know that is controversial, uh, a lot of people, they like mayonnaise, or mayo, as they say. Uh, they like it on sandwiches. They like it uh, as sauces. Some people like putting it on their pizza. And, of course, a lot of people nowadays, it's a huge trend in 2020, uh, they do like pouring it out and putting it in their hair. Um, I think you're seeing that more and more. But I've never been a fan of mayo. And for a while, that got in the way of things when I was doing my reviews. Because, of course, you see sandwich after sandwich that, well, they put mayo on it. How can you review something, then, in an honest way, um, if you don't like mayonnaise? And I struggled with that a while, but now I just kind of look at it as well. I might not be the biggest fan of it, but forget about that. Just view the sandwich um, impartially and go from there. So, the thing I don't like about mayo, to me, is it's like the creaminess of it somehow bothers me. And just like the bland lack of flavor but moisture that it has, yet the texture, I, it just bothers me. I've never liked it. Um, I've never I've never enjoyed it. And when I get a sandwich just for me to eat, uh, I just always say, no mayo, please, no mayo. I am not a fan of it. I don't like it. And again, when I do the reviews, I just, I deal with it. I say, well, just look at it overall. How would other people like it? Um, but I am not a mayo fan. I am not a mayo fanatic. I never have been. Number two. And this one, I just want to warn you all. I know the mayo one, some people were probably blown away by. You know, they're flying away right now. But this one is, is legitimately going to make some people uncomfortable. I mean, I am not even saying that as a joke. Like, sometimes uh, I will go out and I'll say, uh, you know, this is whatever, incredible. Or I'll, I'll exaggerate something as a joke. This one is not. We all like... Well, I'm not going to speak for everyone, but a lot of people like Oreos, right? The Oreo cookies. Milk's favorite cookie, as they say, as a matter of fact. You know, you get the little, uh, you get the, it's like cookies and cream, you know? You get the cookie, you get the, I always go with the standard Oreos, you know? I don't go with the double stuffed ones or the, the triple stuffed or the quadru or the mega stuffed or whatever they call them. I just go with the regular Oreos. I like the cookie. I like the frosting. Well, you're not really seeing any problems, right? Well, then, here's where it gets weird. Oreos are milk's favorite cookie. Well, not for me. 
because I don't use milk when I when I uh, have my Oreos. Instead, I drink them down with water, and I know that is a very weird one. I kind of, I, I kind of laugh at the absurdity of it, but that's just the way that I like it. I have tried, you know, dipping the Oreo cookies in milk, and I get it. I think people they like the taste of milk, and I really don't have problems with milk. I mean, I drink milk. Um, when I have my coffee, of course, I don't drink it black. I always put milk in it. Um, same thing with tea or anything. Uh, milk in and of itself does not bother me. It never has. But when it comes down to Oreos, I like that soft um, consistency of them as well. I don't like it when it's really hard. right? I like that soft, almost kind of, you know, soggy uh, cookie in, in a sense. I just like it soft. It's good on my my wretched teeth as well. But I don't like the flavor of the milk, the way that it interacts with the cookie somehow. So I thought to myself, well, what's a good substitute? In order to, again, get that softness of the cookie um, and just enjoy it, again, as a cookie, just, you know, kind of cookies and cream, well, that's where the water comes in. The water really contributes no flavor of its own, but it still allows for it to have the desired texture. So that's what I go with. And as a result, I enjoy it, I don't break my teeth any more than they already are, and, um, well, everything is hopefully good in the world, though. Um, but hopefully it's not hurting anyone, hopefully it's not harming anyone. A lot of people, though, it's like, you're going too far with this review, bro. You're going, you're going way too far. Um, but yeah, Oreos with water. That's what I do. I like it. I don't care what you do with Oreos. I mean, I really don't care. You can eat them dry. You can use water, too. You can go with standard milk. Um, you can dip them in Mountain Dew or, you know, chicken noodle soup. I really don't care how, how you eat your Oreos. Um, but I know that that is a weird one. And that's just, that's just the way I like them. That's all I can say. Here's another one. I don't review a ton of salads on the channel, but I try to eat healthy when I can. One thing I've been trying to eat more of is, of course, your healthy greens, you know, um, vegetables and salads and all of that good stuff. One weird thing that I do with salads... Uh, that I don't think you see many people do. I do not eat salads with salad dressing. I don't do that. Uh, for some reason, I just, I prefer simplicity. I don't like the excess uh, moisture in the salad that the, um, that the salad dressing generates. I never like it when you pour the salad dressing on, and then, you know, you kind of have this little puddle at the bottom of the the bowl or dish or whatever you want to use to eat the salad. I really don't like that. That kind of... It doesn't gross me out. It kind of does, but, you know, it's just one of those petty things that I, I just... I can live with it. Um, but I also just don't like the flavors that a lot of the salad dressings add. I would actually prefer to, yes, eat your boring... Um, boring vegetables without any dressings, without any butter, really without any seasonings. I will just eat them raw and plain... And I don't mind that one single bit. That's actually how I'm happy eating them. So that's just one other thing uh, when it comes down to uh, just my consumption of things. It's a little weird. Salads and a really lack of salad dressing. Now, I know in this video, we've already been subject to a lot of very harrowing uh, things. Very, very scary stuff. I know that the Oreo thing was already... It was already a lot to process. The salad dressing stuff was even worse. And I know, that's one of those things that takes you by surprise, you know? It's like you think, how could it get any worse than Oreos? In water. But then you get the salad dressing, or lack thereof, and then that just takes it, um, you know, out of the frying pan and into the fire. I mean, it just gets worse. I, I, I said to buckle in, I said to get ready, I said to get those sheets and, you know, pull them up high. Make sure that, you know, you're in... You're still comfortable and safe, you know, don't, don't do anything stupid. Um, but if there is a time to maybe cower under the sheets, this next one might be it. I'm giving a little bit of a, a pause for dramatic effect because I actually have an example of this. So get ready. Oh, the, the anticipation, I know, is palpable right now. What we have here right now... Pickles. I know. This is this is terrifying. Uh, if anything, it's probably the scariest thing you've ever seen. Not really the pickles. 
I don't have a problem with pickles, to be honest, but pickle lids, that's another story. Those things, they are well-intentioned, but forget it. Let's not, e let's not even go there today. But pickles themselves, I don't, I don't mind. Pickles, I'm okay with. I've never had a problem with them. I'll get them on burgers or sandwiches. Or, they don't bother me. The lid is another story, though, and that's for another day. I don't eat the lid. It's something about it. Not, not even going to go there. Not even going to go there this time around. <laughs> One other thing that's kind of similar to pickles, though. Uh, I don't know. This is a really weird comparison. I don't think I've ever heard anyone... I'm grasping at straws here. Just hear me out. Our hot dogs. You know, hot dogs and pickles, they kind of look similar, right? They, you see, you see where I'm trying to do? I'm trying to just grasp a tangent out of, out of thin air. Um, but hot dogs. Again, hot dogs aren't something that really bother me all that much now. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll enjoy a good hot dog. I really, I don't, I don't mind them. But if you had asked me this question about, you know, five or six years ago, um, especially I'm thinking 2014, 2015, uh, then it would be another story, because back then, I really had an aversion to hot dogs. I did not like them. They grossed me out. And I think some people will be saying, oh, for good reason, you know, because hot dogs, uh, you know, they consist of this, this, and this. Um, the reason why I was never a fan of hot dogs actually isn't because of that. <laughs> it's more of a personal reason, but it was back in 2014, I had this uh, stomach flu, and... The meal that I had before everything vomited up because of this uh, this virus that I had was a good deal of hot dogs. And, you know, after a few hours, my stomach was feeling unsettled. And those hot dogs came right back up. And after that, I always had this gross connotation with them, not because of the way they tasted. They were good hot dogs. There was nothing wrong with them. Uh, I already had the virus before I even... Uh, ate them, so it wasn't even anything in the hot dogs themselves. It was just kind of bad luck, you know, they were at the wrong place at the wrong time, and as a result, I just had this mental image, you know, of this very unpleasant experience that had always skewed my view of hot dogs a bit for a couple years. It was like I couldn't, I couldn't help but think of that event uh, every, every time I had tried to eat hot dogs subsequently. But over the years, it kind of got better, and and now I figure, look, if I'm at a barbecue or something, or if I go to a good restaurant and, you know, they're known for their hot dogs, I'll be more than happy to have one. Those, they don't bother me like they used to anymore, um, to say the least. And I think I've even reviewed a couple. I know a few years ago I even tried out Burger King. I think they had, um, what was it? They had some sort of hot dog out. All right, on a final note, one other thing that, you know, is just a little bit of a quirk in terms of, of eating. If you've noticed uh, with my channel, what's one thing that I don't really review all that much, right? What's what's something that I don't review much? Well, I don't eat a lot of, of noodles, of pastas, of all those sorts of things. This is a weird one, but it just I guess it just is what it is. Like, a lot of these things, I can't explain why I feel this way. Why it is the way that it is, I don't know. Um, could it just be because I'm weird, maybe? Weird tastes, perhaps? unspecified head injury, perhaps. Um, you know, may, I, I don't know. Maybe I'm just a sick, twisted creature of the night or something. I really don't know um, why I have these quirks. But pasta and noodles. Now, this is a, a weird one. I have nothing against the way that they taste. Um, the tomato sauce can be nice, can be very robust, very flavorful. The noodles, I don't mind at all. So, what's the issue? This is this is a very weird one. It's even weird for me to even try to explain it because it's just like this makes no sense. You know, it's just it's just this way, but it makes no sense to me. Pasta and noodles, especially with the red tomato sauce, uh, convey in some instances an unpleasant um, mental connotation in my mind. I look at them and I think of like blood and uh, and guts. Or like worms crawling around in this plate. And I look at that, and then that makes me... I look at it, I don't mean to think that, but I do. And then I look at it, and it's like, I can't really eat this now. I'm grossed out. I know that it tastes good, but it just grosses me out. I... I... 
I'm lost too. I'm just as lost as you are, but something about it grosses me out, even though taste-wise, it's completely fine. A lot of it is, is really delicious, um, but it bothers me for some reason, just the way that it looks. And it is beyond explaining, uh, and again, I, I am just as lost as you are. So that's what we've got for you today. I have some weird tastes. I, I know that I do. A lot of these things aren't normal. A lot of people, they like their mayo. They like their salad dressing. They like their Oreos with milk. Maybe they hate pickles. I don't know. Um, you know, hot dogs and pastas and all these things, of course, are very, very normal, um, normal things that a lot of people out there enjoy. Me, personally, I have my quirks. I have my, my strange tastes. But I don't hold anything against anyone who, feel, who feels differently. Be completely and totally idiotic. In the end, hey, I like what I like. You like what you like. We could all live happily and harmoniously together. And when I do these reviews, I try to see past this silliness. I try to say, look, without the camera being on, I'll eat what I'll eat. And I'll eat it the way that I do. But for the review, I just get in this frame of mind. I am just trying this out as a general consumer for, you know, the mass populace out there. Um, and I'm just going to forget about this stuff and just try to see it in general, how it tastes, how it works, and um, go from there. So that's what I try to do. But really, when the cameras are off and I'm just having a regular meal, these are some of the little, um, little particular quirks, I suppose, that uh, come into play when I make my meal choices. That's all that I have for you, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed the review. It's not what's... Look, I'm so into the habit. It's not a review. I hope you enjoyed the discussion and um, maybe had a little bit of fun. Thanks for watching and do take care. Until next time, I'm your host, the Report of the Week.